going on guys and welcome back to some more Majora's Mask in the last part we uh, got our sword reforged and uh, did half a snowhead temple this is where we're gonna do the rest of snowhead temple and guess what we're gonna do it swordless yay so yeah uh, basically uh, this is the second to last uh, episode I recorded in this session so yeah when it comes to the audio bugs like um this is the second to last episode with audio bugs Because uh, I use voice meter as a way to make my microphone sound better, and I actually have my desktop settings on, that's what caused the uh, audio to get fucked up and all that. Anyway, so um, now we are going to uh, go in, we're going to go back into Snowhead and uh, the music's going to change in a second. Yeah, there it is. Um, so yeah, I'm trying all I can to fix this in the editing because, like, thank God we have the Goron mask because, like, otherwise we'd uh. So th I will say there are definitely great, w better ways to do this. But um, anyway, so since we're back in snow and we're back at the beginning, we might as well uh, we might as well uh, get this uh, small key that's in here. Of course, I already revealed it's a small key, but uh, there's another way to kill these ice things with fire arrows. Now that we have the fire arrows, we can maneuver this temple much easier. And there's going to be a small key in there. We already got all the stray fairies in this room. It's time to roll, 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 roll. All right, good. Now we got a small key, which we're going to use that for a little bit later. We're going to use that for the for a door on the uh, upper floor. Now there's a a couple of stray fairy. There's one stray fairy I want to get in this room. Now we have the fire arrows. Yeah, we can kill those enemies, and now we can get that uh, switch that we previously could not because we did in the fire arrows. And now we get out the lens of truth, and basically, we hop across this pile. Be very careful because falling will make you have to go all the way back up. And now we get the, straight, the great fairy's mask. I would say out of all the temples, this is definitely the one I recommend the most getting all the stray fairies in. Because the reward is absolutely great. It's a longer magic meter. We already have eight stray fairies. Wait, yay, we took fall damage. Anyway, so um So now what we're going to do is um We're gonna, now we have the fire arrows, we're going to um, go above a platform. We're not, we're not going above the platform, we'll make the platform go above. Um, we can now thaw this ice out. And there are a couple, I think there are also a couple of stray fairies in that room. There are. And so kill these uh, ice things. They weren't pain in the ass in Ocarina of Time. I think they're also a pain in the ass in this game because they make you, since we're swordless, we have to use fire arrows. And yeah, there's a stray fairy. We get the magic. We're gonna have to throw these pots the old-fashioned way, like in like the past. Believe it or not, I've actually I'm a link to the past is actually not one of my favorite games. Like I know it's one the best of the it's considered the best of the two D Zeldas, but like um I'm just not very good at two D Zelda period. Oh 
Like, I know A Link to the Past laid the groundwork for future Zelda games, and eventually Ocarina of Time did too. Like, a lot of the elements, you see, a lot of the music and elements you see in Ocarina of Time did originate in A Link to the Past. Wait, put on the Gone Mask. And so now what we're going to do is, um... Believe it or not, I'm going to pause this recording for a second. Right, now we're back. So, uh... I thought I had to cut some footage, but, uh, no. But there's a... There's one stray fairy we want to get in this room, and uh, we have the fire arrows. We can absolutely do that. So we have to find another way to kill those wolfos. Thankfully, wolfos take like one hit with the Goron Mask. I just love the Goron Mask so much. I will say the Goron Mask definitely, um, once you get the Zora Mask, you stop using the Zora, the Goron Mask. But like, the Goron Mask is great. So we're going to uh, push this block and uh, I will say this is going to be a much longer video than it normally is. Um, but hey, what am I talking about? I can actually uh, splice this thing in two. So uh, I'm gonna push this block over here and basically, um, remember that, uh, chest that we got earlier that we, uh, we're not, we didn't roll, but, uh, remember that chest that, uh, we, that we used with the block earlier? Let's just say we have, uh, let's just say we have a stray fairy we have to get. Be careful not to fall below because you'll have to go, you'll have to backtrack a bit. And uh, we already have a lot of trigger I'm actually going to cut off this part of Majora's Mask. So next time Majora's Mask, we're going to finish Snowhead. So I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks.